my new account is 24 hours old. What would they expect at this point? Well, usually I rush power and would be maybe twice as much power as I am now. But on this account, I'm taking a more sensible approach or a more a realistic, a casual approach. So I would suggest every 24 hours to gain around 100k power would be about right. Um, why am I not rushing on this account? It's because I'm going to try and make a an account that's more accessible to some people that are following my guides and also in the background I'm also going to concentrate on my Sunset Canyon team which means I need to really focus uh, away from progressing my city hall and onto that for this uh, series. Let's have a little look though after 24 hours what should we look like on our new casual account. So over 100k power I would say is around where you want to be. You're going to struggle to have got into any alliance with that power. So perhaps be with your farms and be developing your farms as well. Uh, let's see. I have only done 1100 helps. Uh, I would expect if you're pushing power or going for the hidden lotus, you would need this to be three or 4,000 by now. But the chance to farm helps has passed by. I spoke about it in my last video and showed how I do it. But I've only done 1100, which is well behind. That's nine five minute speed ups. So, as I'm getting less income in speed ups, it's gonna it's slowing my progress, making it hard to push power. But I'm going at a slower pace, and what I have achieved is uh, I've managed to get two of the first commanders I want for my sunset team. Which the the luck I've had on gold keys is undescribably bad i haven't even got city keeper so i'm gonna to have to use tommen and i've got joan who i am progressing with those low level barbarians this is a bit of an unusual count uh, as i've skipped out loha which i wouldn't really recommend for for any player unless you're obsessed about sunset canyon like me how's the map doing only on eight percent um what I would suggest is if you're playing casually, don't go mad when your um, scout camp is only level 7 or 8 or 6. Um, really start getting into the um, clearing the map when your scout camp is around level 11 or 12 or even 13. As you can have this huge boost for the amount it can explore and the amount and the speed that the march is going. So... An hour spent doing um, scouting with two scouts at level six um, clears a lot less of the amount than an, a lot less of the map than the uh, doing it when your scout camp is thirteen. So just playing smart there. Expedition. Uh, I would expect anybody on their first day of their account to get to level fourteen three star. Level, 20, uh, level 15 is a bit difficult. It's 25,000 uh, troops to take down. I could probably do it now, but I don't think I could three-star it yet. Um, and because I haven't got Sun Tzu, obviously I'm going to be struggling in Expedition. But for your first 24 hours, I think three-star up to 14 is a nice start. Uh, I'm City Hall 10, um, which is unfortunate because I haven't got my extra march yet. But... I'm just pushing along at a speed I am happy with. Anything else to report? So expedition. Let's have a little look. Uh, I of course haven't used any of my research speed ups, but I haven't even got that many. Uh, I have used some speed ups on my um, training, but not usually. I would have used every single one. The reason I haven't used every single one is uh, I haven't got Sun Tzu, so I can't force the, the expedition progress. So I'm just taking it a little easier with that. I've still got a 24-hour speed up here. Uh, I've not gone crazy, uh, so I've got a few universal speed ups, but I am I am progressing because I do want to, of course, get that uh, blacksmith as quickly as possible to support my Sunset Canyon team. Once you've got the blacksmith, though, there is the opportunity to start hoarding, and I may take that opportunity as long as I can keep doing 100k a day. 
So if I do 100k a day, I will have a 2 million power sleeper, which should be plenty to get into any uh, alliance I want. Um, obviously, usually I've got quite a bit more than that, and maybe I have a bit of luck and I'll have more than that, but at the moment, that's what I am aiming for. The alliance I'm currently in is I've not snuck into any alliance to try and get Sanctum Rewards yet. Um, the alliance I'm, I'm in, I control, and it's just going to be an alliance coin farm, which means we just do a lot of slow build flags. Perhaps I'll connect it to uh, a Sanctum. If no one else is going to connect it, there's no point it sitting there idle. Uh, but then, of course, I'll maybe try and share that reward with somebody in the local region. Let's have a little look at commanders. So your commanders shouldn't look like this. You should be developing your gathering commanders uh, to get that precious first talent. The more the better. And of course, your peacekeepers, you'll need a few of these to get that precious trophy hunter. But for what I'm trying to do on this account, I haven't done either of those things, nor have I run any Lohar at all, as I'm trying to go full focus on my Sunset Canyon team. And to do that, I need a real lean progress towards um, experience points and how I spend them. But because I've had a terrible day, meant I only had Joan yesterday, so every Barbarian I killed was only getting XP for Joan, which is a disaster. Obviously, if you have two of the commanders you want to use then that would be a lot better the good thing about Tommen though is she has got uh she can reduce the cost to attack a barbarian by 10 she doesn't have that precious trophy hunter but certainly for pushing power that's useful and i wasn't planning to use Tommen, but this is just how the keys fell uh, i would like to be progressing city keeper if i had the choice but I've switched out for Tommen for the moment. Maybe I'll switch back or maybe I will use both of them for uh, a while. So I'm going to carry on scouting, carry on developing my farms and carry on progressing this account. Hope you're finding this guide useful. Uh, thank you to everyone that's joined me. Remember, don't sit in this Alliance coin farm uh, get out there and try and get some sanctums is what you should be trying to do. If you're going for the hidden lotus or really pushing power, then you really need to be in a proper alliance by now. But of course, send your farms over to me and I will look after them and try and help their progress. That's all for this video. Just a quick one, just a little update. I uh, hope you're enjoying this series and thank you for all the likes and subscribes and all the comments uh, I like here. I love hearing from my uh, uh, my community.